been successful, he's been my hero. He refused to be overcome by the mighty conqueror. He is widely remembered for his excellence as a student, for being a student leader, a resistance fighter against the Japanese. It's more of you selflessly offering yourself, regardless kung may kapalit siya or wala. This was his reply to Commander Major Tsunioka Nobuto when he was captured and asked to collaborate and pinpoint the location of his fellow guerrillas on July 15, 1942. A true hero will never sacrifice his comrade even if it takes his own life. He led the first ever resistance to the Japanese occupation known as the Vince's Guerrillas. He was considered as one of the most wanted men by the Japanese. They have planes, they have cannons, and we only have the scopettas that were left to us by the Americans. And yet, he refused. He refused to be overcome by the mighty conqueror. Born on September 28, 1910, in the town of Indan, Camarines Norte, when Cislao Quinto Vincent is known as the father of student activism in the Philippines. The late student activist was also known for delivering an oratorical address entitled Malaysia Redenta, where he advocated the unification of Southeast Asian nations with a common Malay origin. The piece won him the Manuel L. Quezon Gold Medal for Excellence in 1932. He was a consistent honor student from the University of the Philippines. He led the student council and also was the editor-in-chief of the Philippine Collegian. In 1932, he placed third in the bar exams. He was the youngest delegate to the Constitutional Convention of 1935, and I became the national, the youngest delegate to the Constitutional Convention of 1971. Not only was he a hero in every sense of the word, because he died for his country, it's not important to die for your country, but for what you stood. Anusha no she student leader. Until the moment of death, he remained patriot. He remained devoted to his principles and ideas. He never really turned his back on his values and convictions. And I think it's something that students should emulate. You practice what you preach, you walk the walk, you talk the talk. But um, never, ever, ever turn your back on your country and your people. So that people will know in the university, we put in a bust of Francis Dow Vincent's uh, entrance of the university so that people would at least have a face. You see, sometimes we create faceless people out of our heroes. They are not faceless. They have families. They have commitments like us. And yet, sabi nga nila, there were those who kept vigil in the night of our forefathers. We celebrate Wenceslao Vincent's day today.